What's going on, people? This is your boy Ronza B coming to you from DTLA, that is downtown Los Angeles, and welcome to this week's edition of Ronza's Rants. Before I get started, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe, click on the bell so you can receive notification each and every week. I know some of y'all are going to be asking, what's this week's cocktail? This one is the one I call the Peach Chata Hava. If you want the recipe for it, make sure you go out to my other YouTube channel, The Drink Master Runs B, where you can find the recipes of this cocktail and so many of my other amazing cocktails. But that's not what the hell we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this week's rent. And this week's rent is our topic. Joe Biden said, you ain't black <clears throat> if you don't vote for him. And y'all answers out here mad. I'm going to ask y'all this. Are y'all really motherfucking mad that, he's, that he said it? Because the crazy part about it is, it's the truth. Y'all mad that he... I think y'all upset that a, that, that, a white, that a white man who's running for political office is saying something that's true. Y'all are... Fucking hilarious to me. So y'all feelings hurt. You you been out of fucking shape for for something that that that, that that's been true for years. Most of y'all ass has been voting strictly Democrat all your fucking lives. You'd vote a, a straight Democratic ticket. It don't matter who be running as long as they Democrat. That's who the hell you voting for. That's how black folk. It's it's always been for years. If 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 you're Democrat, if you're black, you're supposed to be Democrat. Y'all look, y'all frown upon people that are black and that don't vote Democrat. <clears throat> when y'all find a black Republican, you just cringe. So basically, you pissed off for him saying some shit that's that y'all been doing for years. If you're black and don't vote Democrat. There's something wrong with you. Cause that's the that's what, that's how y'all been operating for so many fucking years. I'm a Democrat. I'm black. I got to be a Democrat. You don't have to be no damn Democrat. So y'all upset about it. For what? So if you if you don't vote for Biden and you black, who you gonna vote for? The, the other buffoon? I don't even like to say his name. Y'all call him the orange orangutan or whatever the fuck he call. I call him the buffoon. So that's who y'all gonna vote for? See, the buffoon, he done took this and ran with it and made it part of his campaign. And because y'all ain't your feelings so damn hard, you gonna fucking fall for it. You need to quit falling for bullshit. Stop it. Quit being so fucking sensitive about every damn thing. Because ain't no really no motherfucking body else for y'all asses to vote for. Who, who else you gonna vote for? You done ran off all the motherfucking candidates. One, every candidate. I used to see y'all say dumb shit all the time. Ain't no qualified candidates. What, what, what the fuck you mean ain't no qualified candidates? What you mean? Everybody. All the pre previous uh, ca uh, candidates that were running. Y'all dragged them. If they've done one little thing to upset you. One little thing outside of what y'all trying to do one thing outside of this one little bad thing and they passed y'all dragged them and now they in, ain't nobody in the race no more so y'all ran off everybody now y'all keep hollering about ain't no qualified candidate well hell the buffoon ran was he qualified last time i checked it don't take much to be qualified to be the president of, the, of this country you got to be what at least what 35 and a citizen i think that's the only motherfucking criteria you got out there you don't have to have no past political uh, uh, experience. Is, is that what y'all mean when y'all say they ain't qualified? They ain't got enough uh, past political experience? Is that what you're looking for? Well, the fool that's in there now didn't have none. And he running the country to the hell in a handbasket. But y'all sitting back on your ragged asses, getting rid of all the, 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 the uh, candidates, and, and that's what the fuck we're going to be left with, his dumb ass. I know y'all want a flawless president like Barack Obama to be in office. Well, guess what, the motherfucker? You, do, do you see how long it took us to get to uh, Barack Obama? Now, you do really think they finna put another one back in office so soon. Y'all dumb as hell. 
Then some of y'all, well, uh, uh, we want, we need one that's gonna be doing. They ain't told us what we go, they gonna do for the black folk. Now I'm not the most political motherfucker because I don't believe in, I don't like politics because for me it's just a euphemism for bullshit because that's all what it is. Politics is bullshit to me. But I don't ever recall the candidates mapping out. Oh, here's what I'm gonna do for the white people. Here's what I'm gonna do for the Mexicans. Here's what I'm going to do for the Asians. Here's what I'm going to do for the, for the blacks. I mean, what, what the fuck? I mean, is, is, is that what y'all want? You need to be making sure they're doing, that they're trying to create an uh, equal playing field. You worried about who the fucking president is, and you need to be worried about who you vote for your motherfucking, for your Senate and your House and all them folks. That's who you motherfucking need to be concerned with. Because the president pretty much is a, you know, just the just the just the face of the country. But y'all wound up about it. Ain't nobody qualified. Well, guess what? You right. We ain't gonna have nobody qualified because at the rate we going and the bullshit y'all on, uh the buffoon gonna win a motherfucking game. Then y'all gonna be sitting out power. Cause guess what? If you don't vote for who you gonna vote for? Oh, I ain't gonna vote for nobody then. Well guess what? That's clever too. Because guess what? When you don't vote for anybody, that's almost like going out there to vote for the fucking buffoon. So think about that, you dumb asses, when you, when you don't vote because ain't nobody qualified. Well, go, well, if ain't nobody qualified and the buffoon wins again, shut the fuck up because we don't want to hear what the fuck you got to say. We can care less. Sit your dumb ass. Find your rock. Cover yourself up and bury yourself like the dumb ass that you are, and you stay hidden for the next fucking four years as he gets through the second term of this dumb ass. And then your stupid ass is hollering about what Barack gonna say, what he said, we waiting on Barack, why he ain't said that, where he at? Motherfucker, he did his motherfucking two terms. Eight years. Like Miss Sophia said in Club Puppet, about eight years. He finished his eight years. Y'all want him to tweet something. He done dealt with y'all bullshit. He done dealt with the bullshit of this country. He did his part. Eight years. Y'all ain't asking about no other fucking presidents to come and make a statement and say something. Y'all, what, what y'all want Barack to do? Huh? Run again? What the, why the fuck would he want to run again? Y'all made the man motherfucking great. Dealing with y'all's bullshit. Having to uh, deal with y'all. Because y'all y'all walking around proud. Oh, we got a Barack. Oh, we got a black president. Well, he still got the answer to the House and the Senate. So, it don't fucking matter what color they are in there. That's, like I said, that's who the motherfuckers y'all need to be, be worried about. What you want Barack to come out and say? America. My people. All of my black people. As your former president of the United States of America. I'm here to let you know that you should vote for this person. I want you to vote for Joe Biden. He was an outstanding vice president. And he's going to do everything that we need to get this country back on track. So go out and vote. Show your support. Don't move. Vote for Joe Biden as your president of the United States of America. Because the guy that we have in here now, if you don't vote for, for Biden or you don't vote for anybody, we're going to have four more years of the current administration. And this is not what we So that's what y'all want. Y'all want, want Obama to come and say something? He ain't, he ain't got time to be saying nothing. That ain't his fucking place. He's not the fucking president no more. So he don't fucking have to say nothing. Y'all just need to quit being dumb as hell. And quit being stupid as fuck. And get off your fucking feelings and quit worried about, oh, he said, if you ain't black. Most of y'all gonna vote for him. You're black now. And you're gonna be voting anyway. For a Democrat. So shut the fuck up. And quit complaining. And quit being so motherfucking sensitive. Sensitivity don't go in politics. In case you didn't motherfucking know. What you need to be doing is being concerned about our people coming together. We need to fucking come together and quit trying to be accepted what we ain't fucking wanted. We always trying to be accepted by people that don't give a rat's ass about us. Just like this recent killing of another unarmed black man. 
died. But we're not we in an uproar now. But guess what? It's gonna continue to happen until we get together and come together as some motherfucking people. And stop worrying about uh, being accepted by people that don't give a shit about us. That is when things are going to go smooth. You want to live in communities where they don't give a fuck about you. Why? Build your own community. You can, you can, you can be in a bougie community built by yourself. We've already built the country. We can start scratching and build how we want to build. But until that happens, this is the type of shit that you're going to have to deal with. Keep talking about, well, the candidates ain't done nothing. What they gonna do for, for us? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Other than come out and get your vote. Stop by your church on Sunday. Wave at you. Do a little dance. Come to the motherfucking uh, D-Nice uh, Zoom party or Instagram party to show that they was there. And y'all get excited about it and want to go run out and, and do what you had to do. But, you know. This is just how the, how the fuck they do us. And we're going to continue to sit there and let them do us that because we too busy want to be accepted. But I'm through. I'm, a, I'm, I'm done with y'all dumb asses. With your little hurt ass feelings. But again, this has been your boy Ron Zabi coming to you again from DTLA. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications each and every week when I upload a new video. And make sure you share, like, and comment with me in the comment section of each one of my videos. And again, remember, your comments or your posts just might become one of Ronson's rants. Y'all be good.